Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just this afternoon, a young lady posted this picture on Facebook. And this video is not going to be how to clean this up. And I'm not 100% sure whether this will, how this engrave with the different shades of gray. But that could be done by, you know, taking, um, you know, printing it twice. And printing the grays first at a low speed, low power, and then the, the black, you could actually separate them. So I made everything black and gray, tried to do the best I could, but that's not what this video is about. She wanted these children wrapped around an 18 inch circle. So this to me is fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my straight line pointer. I'm going to hold down the control button. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and I'm going to put it in the center of the page. I'm going to put this in the center of the page with P and I'm going to put both my circles in the center of the page. Now I'm going to take this, these little kids and I'm going to, let's zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to bring them up to the center of the page and then I'm going to bring up my line to the center of the page up top so I'm just going to bring it up now and I'm not sure the line's long enough so we'll make our line longer and we want it past the center of the page I'm going to bring in an indexing line just to double check it and hit P on the keyboard then I'm going to take our line and I'm going to double click on it till I get my rotation, rotation skew and I'm going to move it to the center. Now a lot of times it doesn't look like it's in the center, but it is in the center. Now I'm going to rotate it 20 degrees because I've already, well I, I guess I did my circle. I'm going to rotate this 20 degrees. Then I'm going to make a duplicate and I'm going to rotate it um, 380 degrees. I hit 360, 380. Let's just move it over here. Yeah, it'd be 340. So 340 degrees. So that's about what I want. And, and 40 degrees now is divisible by 360. Now we're going to bring in our little people and let's bring them down a little bit. And then I'm going to go up to effects. Well, I'm going to go over here to, to the envelope tool down here. I do not need this node, so I'm going to delete it. I do not need this node. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to bring this node to here. 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 Now, I'm going to straighten these out where they're more on my line. This takes just a second. And it doesn't have to be perfect, and I'm not going to do it perfect for the video, but if you were doing this for yourself, you could take some time and get it dead on. And all I'm doing is I'm creating an envelope making these kids fit this shape. All right, I've got that done. And through experience, I've, I realized that when you start messing with this, you're going to get back to the envelope tool. So you need to make control D and make a duplicate of that. Must not have hit control D. Control D and I made a duplicate of it. I'm going to move it over five inches, let's say. Then I'm going to delete this one that could possibly be our envelope because you could sometimes cause problems. Now we're going to make a duplicate of again, control D, double click it and get our rotation to the center of the page. Then we're going to rotate it 40 degrees, control D. And it's that easy. This to me is fun. Then you can take away your hairlines, your circles. You don't need them anymore. 
And there you have those children. And it looks pretty good. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.